Hello, my name is Molly Mathestad. I'm a second year doctoral physical therapist student at the University of Kentucky. And today we're gonna to talk about the role of physical therapy in addiction recovery and relapse prevention. So who are physical therapists? Physical therapists are licensed healthcare providers who help patients to restore function, optimize their movement, and learn about pain, where it comes from, and how to manage it. We are experts in tissue healing, conditions of the musculoskeletal system, prescribing therapeutic exercise, and promoting lifelong physical activity and wellness. Physical therapists have a unique set of skills that make us a valuable part of the treatment team for people in addiction recovery, both immediately and in the long term. We can address any musculoskeletal injuries or issues and help you to manage pain before, during, and after detox through movement, relaxation techniques, and support. We will teach you where your pain is coming from and how we can retrain your brain to process pain and movement differently. We will get you moving more and moving safely to help you get strong if you're deconditioned from detox or chronic pain. Physical therapy gives you a way to take back control of your pain, your health, and your body as a whole. We teach you how to move safely, adjust activities as needed, and teach you what we know with the goal of graduating you on to managing your pain and your health on your own. In a survey of over 300 people in addiction recovery, the three most important long-term priorities were recovery maintenance, employment, and family and social relationships. We will help you set and reach goals for life participation in jobs, society, and family, and work with you to develop a relapse prevention checklist that works for you. As healthcare providers, we know that recovery is always ongoing and requires an enormous amount of strength and courage. We honor the decisions you make every day to take care of yourself and fight for the life you deserve. And we are here to support and connect you to resources if you relapse. Relapse prevention is a long-term and many times lifelong mission that takes support from many facets of life. Physical therapists, have a unique opportunity to teach people in addiction recovery about the importance of approaching relapse prevention from all areas of health and wellness. The first item on the relapse prevention checklist is to develop healthy pain management strategies. And a physical therapist can help you do this by developing a home exercise program that works for you and fits into your life. We can give you starred exercises to do if you have a flare up in the future rather than having to turn to narcotics or pain medications, and be your first stop for booster sessions if flare-ups aren't subsiding, or if you develop any new injuries in the future so that we can address them as soon as they happen and get you on the path to healing and away from the use of narcotics or the development of chronic pain. The second item on the checklist is to make physical activity a lifelong priority, and I'll talk more about the benefits of that item in a few slides. The third item is to develop healthy stress management techniques, including exercise and breathing techniques, which physical therapists can help teach you. It's also important to continue the utilization of counseling services, make regular sleep a priority, and to practice proper nutrition to take care of the mind and body while in recovery and for the rest of your life. The seventh item on the relapse prevention checklist is to think about joining an accountability group if you haven't already, like AA or a 12-step program in your area. And I'll talk more about some of the benefits to that in the next couple of slides. The eighth item is to practice some form of self-exploration and awareness, whether that be through mindfulness, meditation, or building your spiritual relationships. As people in recovery know well, it is always extremely important to avoid enabling environments and to surround yourself with people who celebrate you, your recovery, and your worth. And finally, the 11th item on the relapse prevention checklist is to find and participate in something that gives you a sense of purpose. There are tons of resources for all of these checklist items online, and I've listed quite a few at the end of this presentation for you as well. So now that we've talked about the relapse prevention checklist and seen how multifaceted successful recovery really is, I wanna to touch more heavily on two parts of that checklist that can really have a huge impact on your recovery and long-term quality of life. The first 
is participating in regular physical activity. Perhaps the most important expertise of physical therapist is in designing therapeutic exercise programs for patients with health concerns and injuries and educating and empowering our patients to develop good habits surrounding regular physical activity, which is known to improve mood and health, is a healthy coping mechanism for life stressors, and gives people a concrete and healthy way to take back control of their pain. And as you see from this list of benefits, that's really only the beginning. And the second item on the relapse prevention checklist that I want to talk more about is joining an accountability group like AA, Celebrate Recovery, or another 12-step program. There are so many benefits to meeting with a group regularly, including being around people who celebrate your worth and celebrating the worth of others, learning from the stories of other survivors, gaining the support of a sponsor who's been where you are and can help you through it, exploring your spirituality or your chosen higher power, whatever that may be, being around people who support your recovery, getting rewarded and celebrated for your milestones, and having a place to speak about your truth without fear of judgment. So there really are a ton of benefits to taking that time and joining an accountability group. So really consider finding a group in your area and at least being open to giving that option a chance. The last thing I want to talk to you about is your relationship with your healthcare providers, including physical therapists and physicians. So what happens if you develop an injury or illness and your physician plans to prescribe you narcotics for pain management? It's important for your recovery that you do explore other options before using drugs, and there are other options. So tell your doctor that you'd rather not be put on opioids if it can be avoided, and talk to them about what alternative pain management options may be right for you. If you're experiencing musculoskeletal pain, talk to a physical therapist about non-pharmaceutical treatment options. It's what we do every day, and we can help you explore these options that are best for your recovery and your overall health if your condition is appropriate for PT treatment. And finally, be sure to know which drugs are opioids so you know when you need to have that conversation with your physician. It is always your choice whether or not you choose to disclose your history with recovery to your doctor, but know that it is such important information for your providers to have, especially physicians, because they need to know about potential drug interactions if you are still using or if you're taking drugs like Suboxone or Vivitrol in your recovery, and providers can give you much better care by knowing that important part of your life. Honesty allows you to advocate for your needs and to be an equal team member in your care. You have the power to be active in your care and recovery, and don't ever forget that you and your needs are worth speaking up for. If you run into a situation where opioids are the only option, talk to your doctor about your concerns and how best to do it safely to minimize the effects on your recovery, and ask how long you'll need them, when you'll begin the tapering process, and if you'll be put on the lowest effective dose. Remember that for musculoskeletal pain, physical therapy is recommended before trying narcotics, so ask your doctor about your options. And most importantly, if you do have to take narcotics for pain management, give them to a trusted accountability partner to safely dispense them to you as prescribed. Use the tools in your relapse prevention checklist to cope during this time, reach out to your support system, and take care of yourself. Recovery is a long-term and many times lifelong mission that takes support from many facets of life. So don't forget the tools you've learned along the way to keep fighting and succeeding on your journey with recovery. Thank you.